We need to learn the history of what happened here in Germany. The fascism, the dictatorship, and the abuse of human rights that happened in this country just over a generation ago. And yet, those same crimes against humanity are happening today. It's not Adolf Hitler, it's the mullahs in Tehran who are the fascist dictators. It's not a, a big reach to say that that comparison takes place because Iran is the single leading nation in the world for executing their own people. Number one nation in the world is the mullahs executing their own people in Iran. And not only are they sowing terrorism amongst their own people in Iran, they're sowing terrorism all throughout the world. And so I want to say to Madam Rajavi and to the PMOI and the MEK, I support you. I just want to say that I am in favor of the strongest possible sanctions against the regime of Iran, the mullahs, and their terror. I believe that strong sanctions are the answer that is going to help speed up the day where we overthrow this tyrannical fascist regime of the mullahs. They can no longer prop up their regime when we've cut off the supply of money that have helped them continue their corrupt control over their own people. So that is why we cannot uh, acquiesce or give in to those who say they want to soften sanctions against Iran. We need to keep sanctions going strong to help speed up the day with that we bring down this horrible dictatorship. And I'll conclude with this. My late father, Senator Edward Kennedy, led the Congress in imposing sanctions against South Africa and particularly the apartheid regime in South Africa. And many people said, well, won't this hurt the people of South Africa? And when Nelson Mandela got out of jail, he came to see my father and he said, thank you, Senator Kennedy, because those sanctions made it possible for us to have a free South Africa.